What is going on guys? Today we have a video called, Can You Be Racist to White People? Of course the answer is yes, but let's see what these people up in this video say. Do you make white jokes? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I've yeah. been guilty of it. I don't think it's possible to be racist towards white people. Racism was invented by white people. Why do you think it's more accepted in society to make jokes about white people? Because they make jokes about the rest of us. White people have never gone through any oppression. So the question I want to ask is, is it okay to be racist towards white people? I still struggle with this myself. Despite their ancestral impact on America, it's not right to put all of them in that box. I don't think it's okay to be racist towards anyone white people are still people it is possible to be racist towards white people as well yes i don't think you can be racist towards white people what do you mean by that racism was invented by white people you can't take it out of historical context so historically there has been one race that has more power in the system racism was invented by white people to protect white power primarily i don't think it's possible to be racist racism was invented by white people to to protect white power essentially that's what he said what I wish people would understand is back in those days, back in, you know, the times of colonial, colonial, wait, how do you say it? Colonialism and all of that stuff. It was a lot of just, you know, people wanting power, wanting authority over people, which is fine. Black people wanted authority over white people. White people wanted authority over black people. It was simply who won. It was simply who was stronger. That's all that was. That's what colonialism was to me. You know, of course, they subjugated, subjugated the lands. They destroyed a lot of people. They killed a lot of people. But so that's what happens with this type of stuff. This is real life. This is reality. This stuff happens. Now, in terms of them saying, can, um, I think I, uh, in like the first five seconds, one white girl, she said, oh yeah, I don't think you can be racist to white people. What, what's up with this self-hatred that a lot, I see like a lot of white people have a lot of self-hatred towards themselves. What is up with that? That's not right. Come on guys towards white people. There needs to be a system of oppression. Generally, white people are the ones controlling that system of oppression. Why do you think it's more accepted in society to make jokes about white people? Because they make jokes about the rest of us, constantly. So do you feel like you have your guard up against white people? Sometimes I do. When white people are going through hardship, they're not as sensitive to it as you would be to a black community. In general, like, white people, the privilege behind that. You make white jokes? I do sometimes! <laughs> a little bit, but I'm trying to do better. Because over the last no. few years, there's a no, growing no, no. movement there is no problem with liking white jokes. There is no problem with liking black jokes. There is no problem with liking Mexican jokes. There is no problem with liking any type of jokes. Because guess what? Every group of people should be made fun of. Or should be able to be made fun of. That's what I think. Personally, that's just my personal opinion on it. What is wrong with that? And where we're telling white people not only to ignore, but to accept things that we would never say to another race. Too many white people in here, and this is a space for people of color. White women. And if progress is the goal, then we must acknowledge inconsistencies and call out the double standard. Those were one jokes, but those were not jokes, by the way. That was just plain racism. That's what that was. Bro, you make fun of white people all the time. It's not a whitey. I mean, bro, <laughs> I'm just trying to make a video right now. But would questioning this issue make me a white apologist or an Uncle Tom? But more importantly, am I making the problem worse by even talking about it? Guess we gonna see. How would you define racism? Racism is judging or seeing yourself differently from somebody else because of the color of your skin. I would just yeah. say just preconceived notions about someone based on their skin color. It's like a systemic system where basically people are starting off at a way different point because of the color. No, that is not what racism means. If you just look up racism, it literally just means treating other people differently because of their skin color. That's all it means. It has nothing to do with the systematic stuff. I don't understand where people got this from. I forget her name that wrote the book. It was somebody that wrote a book that wasn't even really a proper scholar and they just go with that goddamn definition. It's so annoying to me. No their skin. Racism is made up social structure, exploits people based on their race. Globally, it seems like there's a lot of whiteness controlling racism. Is it okay to be prejudiced towards white people then? Sure. Is it okay to have prejudice towards black people? I mean, it's not okay, but I mean, I think racism describes a system of power. So for some, it seems like racism is about punching down, but not punching up. But does that mean that as minorities, we don't have the power to discriminate? Let's see what the other side would say. A lot of people these days say that reverse racism doesn't exist. What do you think about that? There's this belief that racism against the person who is most likely to conduct the racism doesn't- I don't want anybody using the term reverse racism. It is racism. That is all it is. You are a racist if you make fun of white, or not even make fun of white people. If you like genuinely hate white people, if you genuinely do like do not like white people, and you know when you go up to them and if you you know the way that you even talk about them is negative, like in a very negative connotation, just grouping up like grouping them all up in one thing, that is racist. That is not what what he just called a reverse racism. Racism that is racist. 
doesn't make it racist, which is untrue. If your definition of racism is purely systematic, no, I don't believe reverse racism can exist. If it's just a matter of discrimination, then yeah, absolutely. I had a racist brother and he was indigenous. Just because you're a minority doesn't mean you, you, you don't hate. A lot of cases of racism, you find that people, their races are the victim of something. Do you think though, at times, yep. people use that excuse of like, you know, you can't be racist towards white people and they mask hate with good intention. I listen to my friends who are like people of color and they tell me their experiences and how they feel and I just try to understand the best that I can. But today is a lot of the racism that we see. See, that's just so strange to me. This whole entire, let me tell you how dumb some people are, right? They claim that, you know, a lot of black people or a lot of other people can't be like minority people can't be racist because of these systematic oppressive things that white people are in control of and black people and other minorities don't have control over it. How about this then? Say that they're, cause you know, they say a system, right? Systems. A business is still a system, even though it's just a business that an independent person owns, it's still a system, right? So how about this then? What if a black person owned a business, a, a multi-million dollar company and they just, and they just discriminated against white people. Would that be racist then? Could you say that a black person can exercise that option? Or say even a mom and pop shop say that the black owner does not actually want to hire white people. Would that be racist? Is that at that point considered racist? Do Can black people be capable of racism? That's how stupid some people are. That they don't understand that black people can be in control of systems. It is honestly insulting if you ask me. I think that the black people that say that black people can't be racist because they can't control the systems are even racist themselves. That's how much I think about this stuff. See? Come on in the West in your face or behind closed doors. So in order to address such issues, policies like affirmative action and racial quotas were introduced in the 60s to increase representations for historically disadvantaged groups. In our time, change has come to this nation too. As we see today, controversy remains. Uh, affirmative action harms everybody, though in different ways. All right, this is the great Thomas Sowell out here. He's, a, he's an amazing guy. But honestly, I don't want to watch the whole video. I'm going to put the link in the description below for this video. This is a very good video. This guy is pretty cool. I forgot his name exactly, but just, just click on the link. Watch the rest of the video. I'm only three minutes in. This is a 16-minute video. I'm only three minutes and 30 seconds in. Watch the rest of the video. But my name is Jay Dottie. Peace.